In this video, I'm going to show you a piece of software called App Inventor. And what App Inventor does is level the playing field by allowing anyone to create their own Android mobile apps. You don't need to know any computer programming, you don't need to write any code, and as a matter of fact, for most apps, you don't even need an Android phone to create apps using App Inventor. And I want to keep this video as short as possible, but I do want to let you know that we have online App Inventor training courses designed for people who have never used App Inventor to create their own apps, all the way up to those who have created apps using App Inventor already and are looking to learn more advanced strategies in creating apps using App Inventor. You can find our online App Inventor courses at androidapptraining.com. All right, so let's get back to it. Right now you're looking at what's called the Components Viewer. And this is where you can put all of the things into your app that you want to use, such as buttons, images, text boxes. You can work with databases. There's much more down here. You can work with the camera. You can add a sound effect or an entire song or video. You can work with animation. You can use the email or phone call functionality. You can work with texting or Twitter. And down here you can even work with things like barcode scanners and Bluetooth, as well as the speech recognizer, which turns your speech into text or your text to speech right down here. So let's create our first app. I'm going to go back up to the basic palette here, and I'm going to pull out a button. So when somebody taps on this, it's going to do something for us. Over on the right side, you'll see an area called Properties, and you can change a multitude of properties for any of the components that you place into the viewer. What I'm going to do is add an image. I've preloaded an image of a kitty and a meow sound right here. So I'm going to use the image of a kitty. I'm going to click OK. And now we see our kitty image shows up here. And I'm also going to delete the text for that button so that we don't have any text on the kitty image here. I'm also going to pull in a text label. I'm going to change this label to tap the kitty. So now the user knows what they're supposed to do. They tap the kitty, and then they'll be surprised to hear the meow sound when they tap the kitty. Again, you can change any of these components' properties, and what I'm going to do with the text label is I'm going to fill the parent, so now it's going to go all the way across the screen. I'm going to change the font size so it looks a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to move that font right to the middle, and you see how easy that is. Now the last thing I'm going to do is go to the media drawer here, and I'm going to pull in what's called a player component. And the player component is used for sound effects. So if you want somebody to tap on a button and a sound effect to play, you can do that with the player component. So I'm going to go up here to the properties, and you'll see a box called Source. And I'll click on that, and what I'm going to do is just upload my meowsound.mp3 to that player component. Now for the real magic, we're going to pull up what's called the Blocks Editor. And this is where we actually do our computer programming, so to speak. We have a bunch of blocks here, and we can choose any of these blocks for any of the components we put into our app, and we've got those listed here, and we've got built-in blocks to work with things like text and lists and logic and controls, colors, things like that. So we'll go back here, and I'm going to pull out what's called a button one click. So this is essentially our button that we place the kitty image on, and we take a look at it here. It says when button one is clicked, do what? And then we see a nice little slot where we can plug in another block. Well, what I want this to do is have the player play the meow sound. So I'm going to go find my player. I'm going to find player one start. And you'll see that these blocks fit together very nicely. And so that's really all I have to do to get this app to work. Now here's another cool thing about App Inventor is that you don't even really need an Android phone to build your apps because they have an Android emulator for you. Now let's see how our app works. I'm going to click on the kitty. And we get our meow sound. It's really that simple. If you're interested in learning how to create your own Android mobile apps using App Inventor, and you've never done this before, the perfect course for you is our level one course called Beginning App Inventor for Non-Coders. You can find that course at androidapptraining.com. And if you decide you want to take the course, you can use the coupon code INTRO to get a 10% discount off of any of the courses we offer. Thanks for watching. Go out and build some great apps.